Hello everyone, it's Maive, welcome back to my channel for another Halloween tutorial. Maybe you don't like dressing up for Halloween but you still want to fit in, so today I'll be showing you how I made this brain ring from polymer clay. I'll leave some links to some materials in the description. The first thing you'll need is a metal ring base. Next you want to take some Fimo liquid or other liquid polymer clay and spread some on the base. For the brain I used translucent pink polymer clay and after rolling it into a bowl I pressed it gently into the base and gave the clay a dome shape. My ring has a crown like edge so I had to be careful not to squeeze any of the clay through the gaps. Using a needle I marked a line along the centre to divide the brain in half and using different pointy tools I traced all those lines and folds present in a human brain. Although it looks like I can do this super quick, I speeded this part up because in reality it takes a lot longer and when you're watching it, it can look pretty repetitive and I did take my time to define those lines and I suggest that you do too. I looked at pictures of real brains for reference and there isn't a particular pattern that you need to follow. I think it looks like a maze, so follow your instincts and go with what you feel works. I also like to speed up clips like this because you can see the pattern emerge much faster and I find it more enjoyable, but if you like a slower version let me know and I will work on that and maybe put it up on my shop so you can purchase it and stream it online. Once the first half was done, I went back in to create more folds within the folds, if that makes sense, or wrinkles. Once you're happy with the look, you can go ahead and do the same on the other side. And don't worry, they don't have to look symmetrical. Once I'd sculpted all the brain, I spread a little Fimo liquid on it to soften the lines and to add a thin layer of goo. After cooking the brain in the oven for 30 minutes at 110 degrees Celsius and letting it cool down, I added a wash of red acrylic paint making sure it went in all the creases. Once the paint was dry, I glazed it a couple of times for an extra gooey finish. If you liked this tutorial and would love to see more Halloween stuff, please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, welcome, I'm Maive, I make videos like this every week, so go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell button so you never ever miss any of my uploads. Thank you all so much for watching, have fun making this brain and I'll see you next time. Bye! Ciao ciao!